everybody, it's an original artist here, and today I'm going to play a quick setting up a camp um, general guide for playing Two Hours One Life. Now, currently, I am in the Q2 uh, mod, so I'm going to be spawning in with Q2. However, if you're a new player, you're likely going to be seeing a screen like this. So, if you're wanting to create a seed first, I'm going to suggest as if you are a new player and you're seeing this screen, go to your settings and these three here, enable FOV, keyboard actions, and center camera, I'm going to suggest that you, you know, enable these three. Um, you can change your music and sound loudness if you want music, you'll hear that when you're getting older but I generally keep it down because I don't like it. Uh, and you can change your sound loudness and all that and all your general settings, but I suggest having these enabled. Enable FOV, keyboard action, center camera. The enable FOV, that lets you um, zoom your camera in and out so you can see farther. The keyboard actions will allow you to move with WASD and the center camera will keep it so that your character is always in the center of the camera. So, if you are in, or if you are a new player and you don't use Hue 2 yet, or if you don't plan to, I have those enabled, in my opinion, makes the game a lot easier. And in here, you'll have your username and your key put in from the bot that you would get uh, on Discord, from the Dictator Discord, which would be on the side here when you have when you first join the discord so it will show up as a little, little red one which I think I can just do that real quick mm, would it be that yep it'll show up like that from the dictator and then you just go in there and it'll tell you your username and your key information so you're in here and you put in your username key if you're having problems logging in I suggest double checking your key you can copy paste it your username you have to type it out I believe mm -hmm. and if you want to just be born to a random mother in the game you'd click be born however if you want to spawn in a seed which is what this video is about you'll type in your seed in this field here and you'll click seed not be born you want to click this to spawn with a seed, and you want to click this if you want to be born to other players. So once you put in your seed, you click that. However, I'm going to use Hue 2 because it's a little bit uh, more user friendly, in my opinion. So I have this here, and I have my seed already picked out in the settings. If you just click settings, you'd see the little field to put in your seed name. You have your username and your key, and I'm going to I'm going to go infertile as soon as I enter because it's in my opinion it is better to wait until you're set up a little bit camp wise before you start having kids because well if you can't feed yourself you're not going to be able to feed one five ten kids so be born gonna go no baby right away and I'm going to quick actually name myself I am if I can oh no so that is my last name. You can see up here, players in range, Uno. I'm the only person, so there is no one in range. I have my chords and my birth. This, These are only things that happen if you use Hue 2. So I do suggest eventually at some point you're gonna want to try Hue 2, but if you're a new player, just go ahead and stick with the normal client. So I picked up a rock from this gray biome. The gray biome has a lot of rocks and stuff, but also a lot of danger. So be careful, pick up a rock on a big hard rock, and in this biome here, there's food, there's grapes, and there's these wild carrots that you can cut down to eat. This biome here is in the gray biome. Again, gray biome is a little bit dangerous, so be careful. It has bananas, so I'm gonna just take a banana, and I have my place already picked out. However, um, I'm gonna show the ore vein that I found. Should be up here. Yep, up here. When you are first making your seed spot, 
You're going to want to make it near where you know that there's going to be one of these ore veins in a gray biome. Again, be careful. You see these red boxes? They're there only because of my client, Hugh 2 They show me that this wolf is dangerous. If I were to step on it or it stepped on me, I would die. So, this ore vein, it will give you really important things later on once you've progressed in the game. And there's also these important rocks. So I'm just going to take one with me. And I have my spot picked down towards the south because I believe that's an extremely good starting area for a new player. Be careful of this purple biome. As you can see, there are boars that live in this purple and blue biome. There's also other wild animals, but some of them don't harm you. It's more of just boars, bears, and wolves that are generally dangerous. There's also bees and mosquitoes, which is that there. There's also snakes in this biome here, but they're pretty rare. It's only if you hunt bison that the bison that they become dangerous, so don't worry about them. Again, the client that I have will tell you if something is dangerous. So down here you can see craving wild onion plus two. If you're a new player, I suggest um, prioritizing eating your cravings over just any random food. So this is a wild onion that I picked in this green biome. You can see that this changed craving wild pepper and you saw my mouth do a little thing and you heard a little noise. If you eat your cravings and you eat yum food, it makes life way easier. I'm just actually going to drop this here because this is going to be my home spot. And I'm going to show you how to make a home spot. And then I'll explain food cravings a little bit once I find a stone. There we are. Okay, now I'm going to need a thing. So I have this here. I have a sharp stone. And now I need one more round boy. Hmm, I see one up there. Here's a bell. And there's a turtle there. Um, let's see. So I got this here. To make a home marker, so you don't get lost, you're going to need a sharp stone on a sapling, which will make this small twig here called a skewer and you use a round stone on it to set your home marker which now this is our home spot and you'll get this arrow down in the bottom that'll point you towards it so now i'm gonna go eat my craving again which should be some up here and you heard that ding just now it means you're starting to starve to death which is why i'm gonna quick grab my food which is this wild pepper here in this green biome. Craving wild pepper plus two. Mm. Now I'm craving a cooked rabbit plus four. So with the food multiplier here, yum meaning you haven't eaten the food yet and meh meaning you have eaten the food in this lifetime. You want to prioritize eating yum over meh and it'll make your game way easier you'll starve less and you'll survive a little bit longer so i'm going to pick a couple branches oop because branches are the important i'm going to get myself a basket up top here and actually we're going to eat something because we're hungry again so this here is a, a burdock which you can cut down with a sharp stone it's only in the green biome here gonna eat it because it's yum for me so it is better in the long run so sharp stone on these tool reeds which only spawn here in this purple biome together they make a reed basket and I'm going to make a reed backpack since it is the easiest backpack to make which will hold three items on your character without needing to use your space. So I just picked these milkweed here, which are only in this green biome. You put them together to make threads. Two threads together make a rope. And we're gonna go up top here again 
to find more reeds. All right, so to make a reed B backpack BP, we it's what we call backpacks. You're gonna need these cut reeds on a basket, add a rope, and do that. And you can store these. I'm pressing Q because I have the keyboard bindings, which will allow me to store, but you can also just left click and right click to take out. I'm gonna just carry this meh food with me for a moment. Well, I look for like maybe a grape or something. Now I do suggest avoiding eating meh food, but of course there are some times where you will have to not. I could eat the berries. Preferably, I don't want to eat the berries, but I'll eat the berries just for the yum bonus. So you can see I have the home arrow pointing to my home and you'll have to remake it every life. That's why I say Hue 2 does come in handy when you're ready for at that point. So I have this plus six here. This number goes down before my actual food bar. So it's technically like I have nine food bars now instead of um, otherwise, instead of only having the four. Let's see, what's my craving? I have a cooked rabbit. Uh, there's some orange and garlic over here, so I'm going to quick grab that. If you are a newer player, don't worry too much about food. However, I'd prefer not to eat wild garlic and beets until later on because you, wild garlic and beets are a bit more rare and without them you can't plant domestic ones so I'm just quickly making a rope to make myself um, a reed skirt because reed skirts will help you stay a tiny bit warmer which is just reeds cut reeds with a rope and you're gonna want to try to stay warm because the more warm you are down here the closer this arrow is to this black middle bar the um your food will drain slower so i'm just i ate that garlic because there's another another garlic there however i saw only one beet so I'm going to not eat that right away so first thing I'm going to do is take this here now I generally like to kill and eat geese first I consider that an extremely good strategy however as a newer player I would not recommend doing it mostly due to the fact that you um, we're going to take a little bit longer learning things, so you're going to need a more renewing source of food, which is what geese do, because they give eggs instead of just eating the, go the goose itself. So up here, you see this natural spring. I'm going to suggest looking for them only in a green or a purple biome, because you're going to need most of the resources in a green and a purple biome. As a newer player, it's going to be more difficult to um, survive in another biome besides this green and the purple one. So I'm just gonna cut these, put them together so I have a thing. And we're gonna do our building over by that natural spring. But we're gonna carry all these four here. These branches here you can carry four at a time but you'll walk a bit slower. Hello, cat. You need a lot of these branches for a lot of things, however. So, I'm gonna do that. Mm, we're going to make another basket because we need those. We need many baskets. The, e the easiest next form of clothing you could get would be rabbit fur clothing or a mouflon hide, which you would hunt a mouflon, which is where those brown goat things that we saw in the gray biome before. Ooh, actually, we're going to grab some apples for food. Just gonna eat it right away. Grab some of this milkweed for thread and ropes, because there's a lot here. 
Now you might be wondering how I'm zooming in and out so much is um, I'm using my arrow keys, but you can also use your scroll wheel. That was very disorienting. I'm gonna just put these all together because I'm gonna need both rope and thread. So just uh, do that. So I have a rope here. I'm gonna store that actually. Have room to do. You need tons of rope and thread in the beginning. So I'm gonna, I just took this straight branch off this hickory or maple tree. Sometimes hickories spawn um, straight branches, but not all the time. So I have this sharp stone on this straight branch. One, two, three. And I'm gonna put a rope on it. And I have a stair, a uh, snare. I can talk, I know words sometimes. And I, do I have room? I'm gonna have to make those a rope. Okay, that'll do. Um, Yum-wise, I'm kind of running out, so I'll have to start eating meh food. But again, I do recommend eating yum over meh, because it'll, as I said, you get more food bars. You can see that I'm not getting hungry as quickly. Okay, so what do I all have? I have these and these. I need a, one of you, and I think I should have enough. I need actually need flint. Flint, flint, flint is up here. You can see right here, this is um, flint. You're gonna use your sharp stone on it, and you're gonna pick flint chunks up. I'm gonna grab a couple, because you're gonna end up needing a couple. And I'm gonna put just in a pile. So, okay, have my sharp stone. So I'm gonna do this one, two, for a short shaft, and I'm going to add a rope to it, and I'm then going to add a flint chip to it, and you have a flint knife. Now, these before you saw, I made this with a straight branch, so I'm just gonna do once on it, add a rope to it, and I'm gonna put my uh, I need another sharp stone, which is down there, and I can make it really quick. So, round rock on a big hard rock. I'm gonna add this sharp stone to the tied short shaft, and you have a stone hatchet, and we're gonna get one more of these. Click it once, and we're gonna click this branch, which you can get off a Lombardi poplar tree use it on use your sharp stone on that and then you're gonna rope on it to get a bow drill bow and you're gonna add the short shaft to get a fire bow drill so currently i have all the needed things to start getting rabbits yes i do mm -hmm. So we still have our home marker pointing all the way out there even though we're kind of building base there. So we're going to start going down and I assume that there's going to be grapes at some point in that yellow biome. There's one it's coming out. I'm using Hue 2 which again is more of a, it's a mod that gives you more quality of life stuff. So when I press Y, when I hold Y, it'll make things that are yummy to me pulse in the game. So I just eat that. And we're going to, oh, I have it in my backpack, put this snare here on a rabbit hole. Now, you can see currently how um, the biome spawn green to purple to yellow to gray. And inside gray are special biomes, so like the jungle snow desert biomes and the light green biome is always in the green biome so if you're in green if you run one direction you'll always find purple and if you run through purple eventually you'll find green or yellow so we're just catching some rabbits currently Oop. let's see don't think there's anything yummy. 
Have I had, I've had a pepper, I believe. I believe I had a pepper. Did I have a banana yet though? I don't think I've had a banana. Oh, it looks like I haven't had a banana already. Uh, we'll get, grab a couple bananas just to fill up our bar, even though it's not great. Sometimes again, you're gonna have to spam eat some food just to survive. If you're a newer player and you don't know all the foods yet, you're gonna have to do this. Or if you're just starting off, you're gonna have to do it every once in a while. Bananas are a really good spam food early on because there's usually a ton and once you get set up a bit, there's plenty because they can be renewed later on with tools. So we're coming back up here to where our snare is. I'm just catching more. I could, I suppose I can show you another yum food that is a bit more dangerous to get. I don't suggest doing it if you're still very new in the game. So you see this here in this purple biome. Almost every biome has some form of food in it, except for like the snow and the light green biome. Let's see, light green has no food in it currently that I know of besides you could fish up stuff in the water, but that's not really um, easily done. Green has food, purple has this, yellow has that. Gray technically doesn't have food, it has some seed, it has cabbage seed I believe in it. Yeah. It's only really the gray and the light green that doesn't have food. So I just used my sharp stone on the long straight shaft. I'm going to switch them out so I'm standing on this sharp stone. Make sure you're standing on something. It doesn't matter what, well, a berry, I don't suggest a berry because berries do despawn or a leaf, they also despawn. You're gonna use this long straight shaft to knock down the beehive and you see the bees are trying to attack me but as i said before if you were listening things can't attack you if you're standing on an object currently currently in two hours of one life as of uh august 28th 2022 so yeah that's only in two hours of one life one hour of one life they can attack you so we have this fallen hive you're going to use any sharp object so like a sharp stone or a knife. You're gonna cut it, and then you can eat it for yum food. Oop, okay. How many, I only have two, I have one more slot. I can quick. I can quick um, get one more. <laughs> so now we got some bunnies. I'm gonna um, head back home. I'm gonna cook them. Okay, so I'm back here with a bunch of rabbits. I gathered a bit of kindling, which is just using your hatchet on pretty much any branch. I don't suggest using it on the long branches that you get from the maple trees, though. I'd suggest more of the small curved branches or branches from these types of trees up here and over there. So yeah, you just use your hatchet on it. You'll have some kindling. Okay. I'm going to start a fire and start skinning my bunnies. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna see this tree here? Click it. You're gonna get juniper tinder, and then any, pretty much any tree in this green biome is gonna produce a leaf. You're gonna need a leaf, tinder, your bow drill, and some kindling. I'm gonna move all my crap around. Let's see. Mm. Kind of cycle crab around. 
So, I pretty much kind of put everything in more or less a row. So, fire bow drill on this long straight shaft. Use your leaf to pick up the ember. Add it to the tinder. Wait until it puffs up. And then you just add your kindling to it to have a small fire. Now we're going to wait until that fire goes down. And I'm kind of standing on it as I talk because it's putting my temperature up, which is, remember, is good. So I'm going to cut up all these rabbits and um, prepare them to be eaten. So I'm going to use your flint knife to skin them all. We're going to stack the furs for the time being. And let's see. Put that on a skewer. You're not going to want to add this to a fire because, see, it burned and it's not edible. There's nothing you can do with it. So just put it back on the skewer. Um. Oh, the fire turned into hot coals. Now you can cook your rabbit on it. Now, my craving is cooked rabbit plus four. <clears throat> I just ate that and it brought my food meter up really high because this plus number affects this. This is the amount of bonus you'll get down here based upon what you've eaten. So I'm gonna quick cook the rest just so I have some food as I build. Oop. So, I'm going to these rabbit bones, I'm going to right click them, and a rabbit bone will be left over, which we're going to use our flint knife on. And I need thread really quick from milkweed. Okay, we're gonna add this thread to our bone needle. So we see these furs that I have down here. I'm going to suggest one of the first things you make is a better backpack because this backpack here despawns after an hour. It's an extremely easy tool for a newer player to make, but it does despawn after an hour. Oh, it gets crappy and then it despawns. Basically, it loses, it starts degrading. So, four rabbit furs that I stacked, and then you're going to use your knife on one rabbit fur to cut it. You're going to take one of the pieces, you're going to add it to four full and two cut rabbit furs. You're going to use your needle and thread on it to make a backpack. This backpack that I'm wearing now does not despawn. It also holds a bow on it. So once you get to the point of it, of having a bow, which will make life much easier. There's also some other things you can make with rabbit furs. Um, here, if you sewed just one piece, you'd get a rabbit fur loincloth, so it'd be um, another piece that you could wear rather than this skirt. If you had three together and you sewed it, you could have a rabbit fur shawl, so that would be um, a chest piece. If you had four and you sewed it, you'd have a rabbit fur coat, so that would be another chest piece. If you just sewed two together, if you just sewed two together, you'd have a rabbit fur hat. And if you cut them and you sew one of these tiny pieces that's in my hand, you'd have a shoe. Uh, that's everything that you could make clothing-wise with the furs. There's some other things you can make. You can make a water pouch with these. If you cut them and you keep these pieces all together and you were to sew these, you'd make an empty water pouch to carry water so you could water crops or use it later on for a bellows which is important so now that I have all that I'm going to um, start making a kiln and pottery since I did suggest uh, eggs as a more renewing 
form of food for a newer player. I'm going to make my kiln down here since there's more room. I suggest picking open areas, which is what I'm doing. So this is an oh, adobe oven. I made adobe, which is clay and reeds from that purple biome. And you just use the round stone on it to make the base, add more adobe to make the oven, add another to make a kiln. And we have some of that. I'm gonna make one more adobe and get more clay. So reeds plus clay makes adobe. I'm gonna put that adobe behind the kiln. It's um The adobe is used later on for forging tools, so it is a good thing to have, though it's not necessary for a little bit longer with us, because we're just going to make some pottery. Grapes is my next craving. I wonder if I could quick find a grape somewhere. Yeah, oh, hi, cat. Oh, gosh. He scared me. There's a grape there, but I don't know if it. Oh, it's spawned. I know I ate it earlier, but I don't remember the spawn timer for these, so I'm just gonna. Ooh. Cooked berry, carrot, rabbit pie. We're not that far in yet. <sighs> We're working on this stuff. Now, if you didn't really notice, I made sure I had like a source of protein related food before I started actually building. So I have uh, protein, I mean like egg or meat. So like omelets, cooked rabbits, cooked geese, things that are um, high in food bar, but not really yum related, easily spammed once you have a certain amount of tools. So. I'm going to grab all my important things over here. You those. Um, you. These. I'm gonna bring these down here because 
Oops. These are important for over in this area. I'm gonna kind of just drag it all down here. Beat that. I can't carry all of that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we got all this down here. I'm gonna go. I need a flat rock really quickly. Which is in a gray biome generally. I don't have much gray biome. Oh, there's some down there. There we go. I'm gonna pick up some important rocks along the way actually. So I want those flat rock there. But there's also these um, important rocks here in this gray biome. You're gonna need these malachite, and you're also gonna need a calamine, calamine, which is some over here. So these blue and these pale yellow rocks are important. They'll help you make bronze later. So I'm picking up a couple of them since I'm already down there. Wolfie. Again, the gray biome and purple biome are dangerous. Gotta be careful. If you're a newer player, you're likely to die a decent amount of times before you actually start getting the hang of this game. Don't be, don't feel bad. I, I've played, if you're here, you know about one hour, one life. I played probably about nearly 800 hours of one hour, one life, and I played a thousand three hundred almost of two hours of one life. I'm I know I know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna die easily unless I make a really big oopsie. Okay. Going to quick grab some more thread because that's gonna be useful later on. Gonna grab some more of these branches because I'm gonna need a few. I'm gonna need like two, three. Hmm. Where's my Sharpie? There's my Sharpie. I'm just blind. Okay. Um, I have pretty much everything. Alright. So you're going to need your flint knife on a long straight shaft to make tongs. And all the clay that I got earlier. You're gonna wanna use your round stone on it once to make a bowl, twice to make a plate. And you're gonna use a skewer on on a clay to get a little wet nozzle, which will be useful later on. Now this might despawn, but whatever. Spread these out. Oop. I am laying. Okay. One, two, one, two, 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 two. Gonna need a lot of bowls and a lot of plates. If you mess up, you can click again and it'll turn into a piece of clay again. Gonna quick. Need a bunny. I have four left. I have enough time. It's all good. Now, if you add two wet clay bowls together, you'll get a crock pot. Just a lot of bowls, a lot of plates. Hi, cat. You scared me, you know that? I'm gonna move this out of the way just so I don't accidentally fuck up. Okay, gonna make a fire really quick. You can also get 
tinder from pine needles by the way so you don't need to always click a juniper tree fire bow drill on a branch use a leaf add to tinder grab your wood put wood in this adobe kiln use your long straight shaft to transfer the fire and you just use it like so now if you don't have keyboard bindings you're going to do tons of left and right clicking for this grab an egg really quick from down below from one of the ponds here. Okay, oh, I'm gonna grab another egg actually. Okay, so this is what I mean about like a renewing source of food once you have clay plates. You can put this flat rock on it, grab an egg, add it to the flat rock, and there you go. And you might be thinking I just screwed up the f in the fire. You can take it off with a tong. And if you accidentally burn the egg on the flat rock, you need a weak a skewer, any skewer, to um take it off. Because you can burn eggs just like you can burn a rabbit. Okay, I'm gonna should I do the rest of the plates? I have a lot of plates though. Yeah, plates. Maybe one more pot. Okay, that'll be fine. Tong. can't stack crocs on crocs so well you can but not right from tongs okay where's my adobe i'm gonna add that on there if you actually if you have time to i suggest adding the adobe over the kiln because that's how you make charcoal which is used later on for um bronze and steel making That's plenty of pottery for the time being. Okay. Now I'm going to make um I'm going to make a farm really quick. Just something small. You can use your um, fur backpack to hold dirt, so it'll be a good way to continue to move stuff around. Oop! Flashing people.
So, I'm going to just bring these over here. Um, I'm going to get I don't remember what I was going to get. Oh. My brain just doesn't work all the time. Getting these saplings here. They are important. So I got about like five saplings. Which I cut down. So if you're a newer player, uh, everything I just did here, you can do or you could do farming first, which is a tad bit more simple if you do it a certain way. So, you saw how I moved the dirt with the baskets. You can use these skewers that I picked off, which are saplings in this green biome, to till dirt. And you can just plant something and water it with a bowl or... Where's my water? My, or a water skin, which is the cut rabbit fur that we made earlier. So you can do that, or if you have gotten to my level of advancement, you can save dirt a little bit by sectioning it off, because you just need two, because there's three small piles of dirt per basket of dirt. It's This game is very much about, do you want to save stuff? And advancing to the point where you save things. So one small pile of dirt will give you shallow tilled row, which means you have to hoe it twice. So we're gonna. What do I have in my backpack? Sure. We're gonna pick up a couple seeds. Which should I go north? I should go north to get my seeds because there's more jungle over there. We're gonna pick <laughs> we're gonna pick a couple useful things in this yellow jungle and then the green biome seed wise so the jungle here has two seeds that you can get to plant things you can get peppers and you can get tomatoes so I just two peppers and uh, one of these tomatoes and we're gonna just spam eat couple of those. So I have a tomato and two peppers. We're gonna go click um, some wild garlic and that beet we saw earlier. So there's this wild garlic here and I saw a beet. There's a beet. So this beet here I believe only gives like one seed once you click it so you gotta be really careful. Clicked it and there's that one tiny seed. So yeah, I won't give any more seeds so I can just go ahead and eat it for the yum. So I have a beet. I have, I have um stuff, I have things. I have two peppers, tomato, garlic, and a beet seed. All right, so this beet seed I'm gonna plant right there. This garlic I'm gonna plant right there. Tomato you need to put in a bowl and leave alone for a while to ferment. These wild peppers that we got you're gonna need to get your flint knife over here. Use it on each one to get a seed. I'm gonna go ahead and plant them. Then we're gonna go get more seeds because there's many types of plants that you can 
plant. I'm doing the more basic, easy stuff that'll give you crop food right away. You're gonna want this seeding wild carrot. Get a seed from that. Probably you're gonna want like two or three of those seeds, honestly. So I'm gonna grab like three. And let's see if we can find a cucumber. I'm seeing squash, dill, squash and dill. Cucumber is in this yellow biome here. Oh, there's some corn. So we'll grab a corn seed. This here's um a teo teo sin what I don't know. You need a seed from it for corn. You can plant grapes, but later on. There's also these wild bean plant. So I grab oh, I grabbed one of those. I'm looking for a cucumber plant. I probably passed one at some point and people are screaming at me for being an idiot. I see no cucumber. Oh, I am an idiot. Here's a cucumber plant. I'm gonna click it for a seed. And then we'll get an onion later. I'm halfway through my life, give or take. I'll probably make some pies and bronze tools after I've planted this. Nothing yum here for me. I still got a bonus going, so it's fine. Berry carrot pie. That is... Ah, eh, that's doable. I still have my home marker pointing me there. Okay. I'm going to plant these carrot seeds down here. What's this? This is my cucumber gonna use your flint knife on the cucumber. What do I have here? Pepper? Put the cucumber there. I'm gonna put the corn there. I'm gonna put the beans here. And an onion. Wild onion. You just uh, plant it. Although I'm gonna need more dirt. I can see. dirt nearby that's a little bit lower. It's all the way down there. I'm lazy. Okay, I'm sectioning off all my stuff. All my things. You can... See here that this is about to break. It's got the little black dot in it. So just be aware that it's getting close to breaking. Okay. I have all that done. A bowl of fermented tomato seed pulp. So that's doing its thing. We're gonna get that prepared really quickly. I'm gonna put water into it and then pick it up and then left click an empty bowl for seeds. So we're gonna put two of those there 
I'm gonna start watering things. It's gonna take quite a while. Mm. <sighs> I should have had my bronze tool stuff already going. Fuck. Pepper seed. I'm gonna water the important things right away. Stuff that's gonna give me food right away. Just so I can do other things. Cucumber. And do the corn. Corn. I don't want to do the beet right away. I'm going to do the beans for some um, green beans. I suppose I could do the beets. Did one pepper. Tomato. I didn't do a tomato. Okay. So that's all growing. I'm gonna wanna kind of watch it, so well that does that, we'll um gather some things for some tool making. So this is a mature garlic. You're going to want to click it and not eat it. You're going to want to fuck. You're going to want to put it in a bowl first. Um, you need a round rock, which I don't have right away. Round stone on the bowl. I'm going to plant it and water it. Which I'm gonna not pick from that pond because it's on its last use right now. Okay, this um, skewer I'm gonna add to the cucumber sprout. This other skewer I'm gonna add. Skewer I'm gonna add to the tomato sprout. I'm gonna quick get something going food wise because I'm I just ate my last. Grab an egg. I can get a berry in a bowl, I guess. There's a small bug with berries currently. If you put a, if you eat a berry and you then you put a berry in a bowl, it's counted as a separate yum. Don't count on it forever, but it's a good thing to know. So I just clicked that um, blooming onion. It gives you an onion seed. You gotta replant it in a place where you can actually plant it and then water it. A couple plants have some weird things about them. There's some other plants that I haven't gone over but require more tech, so I haven't done them. I'm gonna just pick those so I can eat one right away. Mm. These aren't done yet, are they? Wait two minutes, yes. Growing cucumber. So make a good thing. I don't really need the egg, do I? 
Eh. Not really. You can use it later. I'm gonna cut some of these up. I'm gonna pick these. I have plenty of food right now. Um, kind of just harvesting everything. Got a, got green beans. Uh, still got the onions. I guess I still got like four yum food going for me. So I'm gonna make a bunch of charcoal and start getting a couple more things that I'm gonna undoubtedly need. More rocks for up north. Just for some tool making. <sighs> so these blue malachite you're gonna want three three blue would be good and three yellow and then I'm gonna need a couple of these bigger rocks again Hitting 80. Yep, going kind of far. <sighs> Let's see. I'm gonna want to pick that garlic down there because garlic does despawn if you don't pick it. So I'm gonna do that. Um. Two, two, so two, two, we'll save you, um, my rocks. Oh gosh, the turtle made his way up here. That's doing that. I'm gonna go grab more rocks. So I like to have like three flat rocks. Unfortunately, you can't carry two, so you can only bring back one at a time, unless you have a cart, which we're not at that stage of tech yet.
go. Oh, gosh. Gonna need you to move, sir. Okay. Now for bronze making, you're gonna need like tons of charcoal. Like don't even just make, make it, make all the charcoal. Cause you're just gonna need so much charcoal. So much charcoal. popcorn with this dried corn that I dried earlier so bowl a corn cob a dried corn cob in a bowl on a fire makes popcorn hmm so what do I want to eat first we're gonna two 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 hmm. if I had let myself in a bit more hungry earlier I could have gotten over 200 pips oh well I'll die like this. It's fine. So I'm making a ton of charcoal right now. I'm gonna wanna start kind of preparing a bit. Putting charcoal in the bowls and you can see here that you're gonna wanna add either the yellow or the blue stone to these that I've done. Now I've made a lot more bowls so I'm putting more charcoal making more charcoal I'm gonna put these in here I'm gonna cover them with plates I'm gonna get these kind of out of the way actually I didn't make quite enough bowls actually. Well, whatever. Good enough. Okay, so the pouch and the clay nozzle that we made earlier, we're going to make another tong with this flint knife. We're gonna add the empty water pouch, we're gonna add the clay nozzle, and we're gonna add that to an adobe kiln with charcoal. And we're gonna need you. We're also gonna make you into a short shaft really quick. Okay. Then we're just gonna fire these on the firing forge, which we used. charcoal in there and we need a round boy there. I'm gonna crush these three. Put one in each. I'm gonna make 
some room. charcoal in there. Lighter go. Okay, we have you. Wait a few seconds for this to cool. Use the round stone on it. And we got an axe. Axe head. Which um we'll need you for a handle. And we got mm, a bronze axe for the fires. Right, now that we have some bronze tools in the making, um, we'll make more charcoal. <laughs> a good idea and while that's happening I'm going to make um, uh, an oven for some pies even though I don't need food right and like ever again I'm going to show you guys how to do it we just need two adobe reads back there. What time is it? 10 a.m. I'm gonna have to go to bed soon. I have to wake up at 5.55? So yeah, I'm gonna have to go to bed after this life, sadly. So I'm gonna just... This is kind of a crappy spot. Mm. I'll make the kitchen over here. I prefer to spread everything out just so there's room later on when you're building and you're wanting to make the place, place wanting to make the place look actually pretty. Generally I'd do even farther, but whatever. So we have an adobe oven. I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna grab a couple of you. A couple of plates. A couple of that. And we're gonna go get some wheat, which is in this yellow biome here. You can also plant it in your farm. You just gotta click the wild plant to get a seed, and then you can get infinite seeds once you've had um, fresh wheat in a bowl. branches. We can have the fire all the way over there. We could transfer the fire over actually. It would make life a little bit easier. Actually, I believe. Shit. I don't have bunnies right now. Because I ate them all earlier. It was a necessary sacrifice. How old am I? I should be like 90 at this point. Yeah, 92. 
I'm, I do suggest um, hunting from rabbit family holes rather than um, rabbit holes because then the rabbit will disappear after an hour, but I don't consider it extremely important because it will come back or it'll turn into a mole, but whatever. Once you have advanced enough, you're not going to be eating rabbits as much. And again, you can you can eat geese, you can eat the eggs. So again, I don't consider it very very important. But if you're a bit newer, you're going to be relying on these resources a bit more. So that's why I'm mentioning it. I. After I've made these like once or twice, I'm gonna move on to more advanced food myself. But as a newer player, you're gonna be making these a little bit more before you learn how to make. So I didn't plant berries because you shouldn't plant berries in your um, Eve civilization till way, way, way later on once you have. Um, tailor tech because to keep people from using berries birds will attack them randomly which I'm all for because I hate berries anyway okay so I we have the wheat and this branch here so we're gonna use this um spiny branch you can use a curved spiny branch too to thresh the wheat, use a bowl on it. You can use this for infinite seeds, just to go ahead and plant it and you'll have dry planted wheat. Then you're gonna use your round stone on it, gonna grab some wata, gonna add it to the wheat, or the threat, the flour now, onto four plates. And then you can add a rabbit, cut it up, add it to a thing carrot rabbit for that um full bowl of berries you don't need to crush this one or like just a carrot or just whatever you get the idea you can also um I'm not gonna that tree is pretty decent where it is cut a couple of these down they're more annoying I'm gonna get another thing of wheat so I can make some bread to show that too should have made the bread first but I wasn't thinking that much I don't think so good I just worked a nine hour shift I'm tired so, in one hour one life, you can cook a turkey in this oven that we have up here, but not in two hours one life. You need the advanced oven. Two hours one life has um, pushed for more advancing tech-based stuff. So I'm just going to put some water on that, and we're not going to do anything with it. We're going to leave it be. I'm going to make that into that. Um, these pots over here. I could make a bow and arrow real quick. Get some meat so I can make some chili. Do I have stuff for chili? I do, actually. I do have the things for chili. I have beans, right? There. Nice. Do I have a bron- I don't think I can make chili yet. I think I need a bronze knife. Right? I need a bronze knife for this. Yeah, unfortunately I can't make chili yet. I need a bronze knife, I forgot. Well, that's something you can look up on your own. Mm, I suppose I could get... Can I make bacon? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I can't. Yeah, I can't make bacon yet. Need a bronze or a steel knife. Um, so this bowl of leavened dough 
you can make bread or you can do it on the table and make like a pizza or a pie but you need the advanced oven for the pizza or the thick pie so just put it on a plate and cut it there's a couple other foods that you can make with some dough but here's some just kind of starting stuff for you you can experiment on your own and go ahead and cook it you could hunt a boar or some sheep or some bison and get meat to just cook that too but this is more of the advanced uh, less advanced easier beginner pies and stuff here so I had to wait until the fire went out to cook you're gonna want to use your flint knife to cut the bread and then you got some bread that you right click to get off and left click to put back and I'd suggest not really having kids until you um have gotten to like the axe and shovel stage of a town so that way you can um make pies and such you don't need an axe to make the pies it makes it's a little easier but i wouldn't suggest having kids until you can make pies bread and you can make fur clothing for them so you'd go off and get some more rabbits make some shawls pants backpacks for them make a ton of bread um start on some stew here. I think I could make stew, pretty sure. Yeah, with what I have, I could make a stew. Unfortunately, I can't make chili yet. You can make some stew or fish stew, too, I believe I could do. But you'd need to fish up some stuff. I don't have any... Um, these are growing. I could get a squash real quick, I think. Well, that's going. I can get a squash. Um. I can get a squash really quickly. I have enough time I could find some squash. So I'm gonna let that grow. We're gonna go grab a squash plant so we can make some stew. I'd say stew is probably kind of the easiest crock pot food. I th I'd say I'm yeah, yeah, because fish stew, you need chopped tomato, which you need a bronze knife for at the very least, so. Yeah. It'd be the easiest crock pot food that I can think of currently. Okay. You could, you could also make, um, pumpkin custard for pies. Mm -hmm. Because you just technically would need sugar, and that's not extremely advanced to do. So what I'm going to let these green beans dry. Pumpkin custard. Um, what do I have? There's jungle up there. Can I do pumpkin custard? i got to think of the ingredients. Sugar. And a pumpkin. Pumpkins are... Because of the randomness chance of getting a pumpkin versus a squash, it's probably a bit, it'd probably be after the, um, stew part. This is, this here, this is, this plant that was in this jungle, it's how you get sugar, it's sugar cane, which would be... Um, but you'd get a ton of sugar from the sugar cane. you get, like, however many stalks are here. There's four, so you'd get four sugar, which would be four crock pots worth of pumpkin custard, but you'd need four pumpkins, which is very random. You could 
plant tomato potatoes once you have um, a bronze shovel and that's a pretty good um, food for a village that's starting off I could I could make a shovel really quick quick not super quick but I could do it got old just now At all, at all. So yeah, once you've like started burying your food, you've got a garden going. It's when you can kind of start just spamming food. So I'm just getting the necessary things. Corn, carrot, squash, squash is going, good. Get a little bit more dirt up here. So I, I would suggest um, having the surplus of yum foods, having clothing before you have kids and like understanding how to make oh, many foods. Because the kids you have are going to make a mess. Whether or not you like it, they're going to make a mess. They're going to screw stuff up. They might make your seed hard to recover. But you know what? That's life. You know, you're here to play a video game with and have kids, meet people, blah, blah, blah. Don't, don't get too worked up over it. Okay. And now we got, I have one more bronze ingot here. I'm gonna make a make a thing. Fire really quickly. Do I have the thing? Is it's all the way over here. I will make a shovel. My brain just like completely shut down for half a second. Fire bow drill. Leaf. Oop. On the tinder. Wait till that's good. On there. On there. Bronze. Hammer. Cycle through all the tools until you get that, which is a shovel. No, you just saw me cycle through all those tools. All those tools are useful for things like um when you first start mining when you need a bronze knife etc etc oh there's this is this one hello i should name you timothy or something like that okay now we just need to add a handle and we got a shovel which um once you put a ton of stones on here, you can make a well with it. Growing squash plant. Are you going to turn to pumpkin? Uh, I don't know. We will, um... Gonna go... Uh, get a tomato plant. Tuber. Tomato tuber. That's the word. You're gonna need... This is a wild potato. You just cut it with a sharp stone, plant it, water it. After it grows a bit, you're gonna need to add some dirt. Potatoes, in my opinion, are pretty good food for starting village. It's, potato is a little bit more of an advanced food, so each bite, there's two bites, is a different yum, so you'd eat it. One bite, it'd be half eaten baked potato, and if you eat it again, it'll be another yum. Blooming squash plant. There's a so the squash plants. There's a twenty percent chance it'll turn into a pumpkin, and an eighty percent chance it'll turn into a squash. I don't care either way what it makes. Oh, it's a pumpkin. Well, that means I get to show you how to make how to make um pumpkin custard. That's the word. So we're gonna cut this with a. 
the U. Use a bowl, cut it, uh, round stone it, add water. I'm gonna put it on there just so it's on a fire really quickly. Water. <laughs> Just to add it on there. Um, can I cut? Yes, I can. Cool. Wasn't sure. I need the knife. Take you off. You're gonna... This bowl of cane juice, you're gonna want to put it on the fire as soon as possible because if you um, leave it for five minutes, it'll turn into a bowl of vinegar. Which is not something you want. I need my bronze. And if you click it, you'll get more pumpkin seeds, which will have a chance to turn into um squash. Got the pumpkin in there. And see, you have here um, the potato plants. It started growing a little bit, but you're gonna need to add um, more dirt to continue growing. And you'd harvest it with a bronze shovel once it's grown a little bit more. Um, this is gonna need the raw sugar, which is still going there, going strong, strong. getting old I'd say at the um, level of advancement that I'm at currently you could probably bring in a kid or two and they probably won't die immediately they might actually do something useful you never know put this sugar in there and we need to uh, cook it and then gonna um, you're gonna add um an egg to it. And then you could use pie crust that we made earlier for these on it. And you'd get um, pumpkin pies that you could cook in here. But after this is cooked, you'd need an egg. So yeah, just wait for the hot coals. If you can't eat it directly, which I think is a little silly, but Oh, we got a squash here, so we can... I have time for the stew. Do I have all the ingredients? I do. And do I do? Put this on here. Cut it. They look pretty much the same. Put that in there. You need the this bowl of soaked beans next, which is a little bit weird. You're gonna pick all these beans. Um it's a little the recipe for it is a bit weird so you're gonna have to bear with me so this put that on there so this bowl here this bowl here use a round stone on it right click so you're holding it and then click the clay plate put the beans back in add the water and it's going to be soaking beans you could cook these on a coals and eat them or cook them and then add them to tortilla shells and you could have burritos and bean tacos too i'm gonna take the water out add it to the crock and then we're gonna need some dried corn i'm gonna put that in a that I'm gonna need the uh, knife. Where doth I leaf knife? Fifth, fifth, fifth. I don't know. My brain is slowly just dying right now. Oh, I left it behind the corn. You can use that. Add that in there.
cut that. I'm gonna need to make another freaking fire. Shit. I should have made that down there. It would have looked better. Whatever. I don't care. Okay. Now, we're, now this pot of stew needs water in it still. And then, yeah. So those are the easier pot, stew pot stuff. You can make, like, four things of, um, pies, but this needs an egg, egg still. There. Pumpkin custard. You just do a raw pie crust on it and a raw pumpkin pie, and then you cook it in there and then cut it with a, with a flint knife. Then these potatoes, you just cut, and then if you want... To get more seeds from it, you'd need a bowl of water. You put it in the bowl, and the rest of these can come over here to be cooked for because each um the first bite is yum and the second bite is yum and then they're not yum anymore. So that'd be feeding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, se uh, four people, two yums, which is why potatoes are pretty good yum food. And so in real life, when potatoes are left alone for a while or they get a little bit moist, they'll start sprouting and making these things called eyes. And that's a root. And then you just cut it and then you just plant it. If you have somewhere to plant it, which I do not have a place to plant it, then you'd water it and it would grow. Yep, and that's um, some more of the basic foods. Um, if you want kids, I'd suggest making a bunch of foods like I have. Maybe, you know, a bit more quantity. And then a bunch of clothing. Like, you're going to want some backpacks. You're going to want some pants. Some shirts. Stuff like that. Out of the furs or you could hunt some mouflon with a bow and arrow which I could make an arrow really quickly to show you how to do that I can make a bow too where's um I need you and I have flint somewhere hiding there we go so an arrow is pretty 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 easy you're gonna need um a goose feather from a pond. So you take off the egg and then get the feather. You're gonna need a knife. So cut the feather. Put the thread on a skewer. Add the feather. You're gonna use your sharp stone on a flint chip to make a arrowhead. And you have an arrow. And for a a bow, flint knife on that will you will take off a rope. And then you'll need a specific branch, which is up here. You'll need a branch from a yew tree to make a bow. You'll cut it with a sharp stone. Boom, lock and loaded. Now, you can kill like a mouflon, geese, a turkey, wolf, boar, but bison and bears need more arrows, and when you try and kill a boar, a wolf, or a bison, they'll start chasing after you if you miss them, and a bison needs two arrows, so if you hit it, even if you hit it, it'll still try and kill you. So I suggest sticking to geese and mouflon until later on, because mouflon, the goats in the gray biome don't attack geese don't attack. You can miss a mouflon, but it won't attack you. It's only the wolf, the boar, bear, and bison that'll attack you if you miss them. So I suggest sticking to the geese and the, um, the mouflon. Um, I could get a shirt from a mouflon really quickly. And then get some meat from it too. You, you can't kill players 
also don't don't go making um a bow and trying to kill people two hours one life is free and it's moderated people are playing the game to have fun hang out with people learn and just have fun so i didn't miss it because when it has a baby you can't miss because it's slower and i just took the baby off with um that Nah, I have a my flint knife, and you can cut it. You'll get a shirt, or if you, um, what do I have in here? If you you can cut it with a flint knife, but there's no flint knives in two hours one in one hour one life, so you can't get meat from it. And I'm gonna die in a little bit here. You can also turn the mouflon hide shirt that I just got into pants with um, if you sew it. I don't remember if I said that. But yeah, I got some meat. So you could cook this meat in the oven. And so that's a good, um, uh, good spammable food. And you'd get some clothing to have for kids or your family. So a bit of hunting, a bit of gathering, farming, and baking is what I suggest to do if you want to create a civilization have kids and have a line that continues on so that's it everybody i'm i'm tired i'm gonna go pass the fuck out